So in terms of uh, terminology, we've already introduced a couple of things now. So we've introduced uncertainty, and we've introduced uncertainty as the estimate of the errors in a measurement, or estimate of the, uh, the error itself in a measurement, where the error is the difference between um, the actual value, or uh, let's not call it actual value, is the difference between the true value minus the measured value. And yeah, I guess the uh, the sign itself um, is somewhat uh, is somewhat uh, unimportant as long as you make sure you use the same sign. Um, so two different um, uh, words already that we introduced. Other words that we might associate some uh, meaning with is uh, first of all accuracy and precision, and those are going to be different here as well. Um, so accuracy indicates how close our measurements are to the true value. So if, uh, if many uh, measurements are, are close to the true value, then we have an accurate measurement. That's what accuracy is. Precision is... Um, how close are consecutive measurements? Let's say, so how close are they to each other? So let's say you're measuring again a, a piece of string. Um, you can measure the same piece of string many different times and get a value that's very close to, uh, uh, to each other every time. Um, but that doesn't mean that you're measuring necessarily the true value. You're just measuring um, something very precisely. Um, and so uncertainty is the combined effect of accuracy and precision. Um, one way to present that graphically is, let's say we're trying to measure um, a quantity X, um, and we know that uh, the true value is here, for example, X star, Let's say we make a, uh, a measurement that is accurate, but that's not precise. So this will be a measurement that's accurate, but not precise. It's accurate because it's actually um, around the true value, but it's not precise because there's a lot of um, uncertainty on the individual measurement. And typically that means uh, you know, you measure a couple of different times and, and then you look at the range um, and this is kind of the range. And so the, the reproducibility of this measurement is not very large, yeah, not very good. We can also have a very precise measurement. So this is a precise measurement, but it's not accurate. And see, um, we're actually very far <clears throat> from the actual, um, from, from the true value, especially if you look at it compared to the size of the uncertainty there. So this could be um, that we just don't know the uncertainty very well. Um, maybe there's a, an, an error that we're making where, where error is now actually a mistake. Um, maybe there's some systematic effect that we're not taking into account. And we'll talk about those types of errors and what it means for something to be a systematic effect. Now, of course, what we want is we want to have a accurate and precise measurement. So this is an accurate and precise measurement. So this is a measurement that is both close to the true value um, and that has a, a very narrow spread on consecutive measurements. Now, which one of these is easiest to determine? Um, it's easy to do many different measurements and see how close the consecutive values are, but it's not easy to figure out how close you are to the true value because this true value is not something you can know in advance. Um, 
So just so so try to pay attention that when you're doing repeated measurements and you're narrowing down something by making multiple measurements, what you're doing is you're typically going to be increasing the the precision, improving the precision, but you're not making the experiment any more or the measurement any more accurate. So mistaking um, precision and accuracy is one of the common mistakes um, in, in uncertainty analysis. Something that is precise is not necessarily accurate. And so stating a measurement um, to very high precision and, and being able to defend um, maybe some parts of the error analysis that get you to that precision does not necessarily mean that you have both an accurate and precise error bar. So keep that in mind in this course that there's a difference between accuracy and precision and we want both accuracy and precision.